Good evening, everybody. This is Adam Gonzalez. I'm here doing another evening with the uh, Texas Sport Pack and CCA. And as you all know, I'm a crazy, crazy saltwater fisherman. So it's my pleasure to be here and contribute my time. Uh, I get to do one course this year and I get to do the uh, dessert. And I am doing a New Orleans style bread pudding. One weekend at Commander's Palace, I had the pleasure of eating one of their bread pudding souffles with the bourbon cream sauce on top. And I said, oh, this is the texture that bread pudding should be. This is how bread pudding should feel. You get some French bread. I soak mine in butter. And after I soak it in butter, I get it in the oven and I toast it. You can see how toasted it is. It crumbles and, and that's the texture you want. And that really dry toasted butter French bread soaks up the, the, the eggs and the milk and the cream and the sugar and the vanilla. Now I've taken these breadcrumbs and I've beaten the eggs and the cream and the milk and some sugar together along with some uh, Myers rum. You can see, I love the Myers duck r dark rum in this recipe. The, it just really works well. And I never make a dessert without my Mexican vanilla. And I, I take them in and what I do at this point is I take my whipped eggs and this is where the softness comes in when that dessert fluffs and rises in the oven. And I just simply fold those egg whites in. And the egg whites you want to fold, not really, not really mash or blend into the bread, the bread pudding and the bread crumbs. You can see it's got that mushy effect on there. That's perfect. I got my peaches and I add, this is my favorite sugar by the way. It's a tamarindo natural raw sugar. And you, you add just enough to coat your peaches. So I add my cinnamon to the peaches. Here again, a splash of Myers. Mexican vanilla, about a teaspoon. And you coat. I'm baking this in a nine by nine pan and it's a little deeper dish pan and I, what, I've, what I've done is I put it in the heat in the oven. You put one stick of butter in there. You see how the butter's just golden and a little brown and it's separated from the butter fats and it's starting to clarify a little bit. Drop your peaches in. And on top, you layer your bread pudding. Thirty-five to forty minutes, three hundred and seventy-five, four hundred degrees. Now, at about fifteen to twenty minutes, you want to come out of the oven and you want to do a cinnamon, temp, uh, cinnamon and sugar. You just sprinkle the top of your bread pudding. Lisa and I lived in New Orleans for a year. We opened a, a restaurant for some famous people there. And, what a time. I spent a whole year eating all of my favorite foods and the only thing that made me come home was my liver. This is my take of a Nola uh, praline butter rum pecan sauce. We get a stick of butter in a saute pan and I work in three quarters of a cup of uh, my sugar. I work in my Mexican vanilla. And I give that a swirl. And what happens is your, your butter and your vanilla and your sugar all come together. You see the color, the caramelization? Isn't that pretty? This is such an easy sauce. And be careful here because you want to pull away. I like about a half a cup of my Myers in there. Now look at that color. You get that bubble. Now, you gotta be real careful. This is like napalm. If this gets on you, you're in trouble. I bring in my pecans. Those are just Texas chopped pecans. Perfect. Heavy, heavy whipping cream. Now it's real thin right now. You can see how thin that is. But 
You let it slow simmer, um, get, some of the, get some of the water and moisture out of it, and you want to get it where it gets to a point where it's that thick, that beautiful, that coats the back of your spoon. Just like that. Thank you so very much. We appreciate you being here. It's my pleasure to be here. It's, it's the greatest thing for my heart, as big a fisherman as I am. And um, um, I hope you enjoy the dish. Thank you.